In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of levator scapula. Levator scapula. I am going to explain its origin, insertion, and function. Let's look at origin first. Origin is this part. Levator scapula originates from C1 through C4, especially transverse process. Transverse process of C1 through C4. Okay, so it originates from cervical spine. This is important. I will talk about this later. This is origin. Insertion is this part. This part is superior angle. Superior angle. Superior angle of scapula. Some anatomy books say that kind of attach on medial border. Maybe it says superior angle to medial border. However you want to remember, it inserts around this area. So in this video, I say it inserts to superior angle. Okay? Origin. Transverse process. C1 through C4. Insertion. Superior angle. Now let me talk about function of levator scapula. Because name of this muscle is levator scapula. Name indicates one of its functions. So what is main function? It is elevation of scapula. Elevation. Elevation of scapula. This way. So that's why its name is levator scapula. Very simple, right? But if you look carefully, direction of this muscle is not completely vertical, correct? So its direction is like a little bit diagonal, just a little bit, but it's not completely vertical, correct? So when this muscle contracts, this can bring scapula, kind of this vector. What kind of movement would it happen? So that makes rotational movement, that is downward rotation. Downward rotation. This is kind of important because when you move shoulder joint, let's say this is shoulder joint, then move shoulder joint, scapula needs to move together this way. This is, by the way, upward rotation opposite from downward rotation, okay? So if levator scapula gets tight, scapula is stabilized in downward rotation position. That means it cannot go to upward rotation. What's gonna happen? Now, it's very hard to move your shoulder joint. Do you see this relationship? Levator scapula is a little bit far away from shoulder joint. However, if you think about biomechanics of scapula, it's very, very important muscle. So, function of levator scapula. Elevation, this is primary function. And downward rotation. But these movements are for scapula. If you think about its origin, that attaches on Transverse processes, these are cervical spines. So if scapula is stabilized, levator scapula can move cervical spines. What is it? It is side band of cervical spine. Side band. This way. Why? Because when scapula is stabilized, Levator scapula pulls cervical spines this way, so this movement makes side bend. This is very important. That's why I was talking about in origin part. Okay, does it make sense? Side bend. Levator scapula usually gets tight very, very easily because of uh, fixed position. 
Why? Because we use computer, we use smartphone, we use a tablet a lot in modern world. Levator scapula gets tight. Now you feel tightness around shoulder, shoulder guard. That makes very tight shoulder. That's why levator scapula is very, very important muscle. In this video, I explained basic anatomy of levator scapula. Its origin, insertion, and function. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.